Hi everyone, my name is Amy Northcutt. I'm the Application Specialist for the Engineering segment here at Tecla Structures. Today we're going to be talking about the fundamentals of Tecla Structures drawings. Tecla Structures drawings are really just 2D views of a 3D model. So over here on the left hand side you can see this area in the 3D model that I have then created a drawing of over here on the right hand side. Marks and dimensions can be automatically placed based on customizable rules. So you can see my column mark automatically looks different from my beam marks. And likewise, my representation of my beam is a single line here. If I flip that over to black and white, it's a little bit easier to see. And if we zoom into our column, you can see I've got the full detail of the column. Marks and dimensions are not just static text. If I double click on one of my marks here, you can see that this is pulling data from the 3D model. So when the drawings or when the model updates, the drawings will update automatically. Let's go make a quick change within the model. We will move this beam just down, say, 12 inches. And let's select a number of members here and change their properties to a different profile. Here you can see where I made changes in the, in the model. The drawing is automatically highlighting and updating. So you can see my profile has been updated to a W16 by 40. These marks are clouded with pink clouds. And then my dimensions have also updated where this used to be five foot six. It's now six foot six. And you can see Tecla is trying to tell me which direction this dimension moved in the change. Your model objects are also tied to the drawings they're on. So if you select a drawing within the document manager, for instance, this first floor plan, you can also select all visible objects that are included within that drawing in the model. If I rotate around here, you can see that I'm selecting only objects that would be appropriate to be seen on the first floor plan. Likewise, if I select the elevation along grid line four, I can see the, the, the members that will be included on that elevation view. Manual annotations and dimensions can also be placed in the 2D drawings as necessary. These objects can also be intelligently linked to the model. So when members change, so do the annotations. Thanks for watching Tecla Structures Drawing Fundamentals. Let us know if you have any comments or feedback, and I hope you enjoyed this video.